What up traders, what up investors, Ken here from the Dyslexic Investor, and we're looking at basically a 3.5-ish million dollar bet on Netflix having a fantastic earnings uh, coming out actually just tomorrow after the close. That is going to be, what, the 14th, so just again, tomorrow after the close, after the bell closes at 4 o'clock. We're most likely also going to have a live stream tomorrow, probably around 3 to 2.30 to kind of do a fantastic uh, live trading session during market hours and just kind of look Look at charts while the market's open and then of course have a uh, a ramp up to see on how netflix performs um usually when we do that we usually bring everyone brings their own snacks like i know it's all virtual so i usually just bring the the chips and guac and everyone else brings maybe popcorn and you just have you just sit around with your buddies looking at some charts discussing stocks and just having a great snack in the afternoon so that's going to most likely happen tomorrow um, that being said, let's go back to this overall pretty enormous trade here again, a little over $3.5 million. So what we're looking at here is Netflix has, again, just like any other stock, Tesla, Amazon, Apple have just been ramping up, trading extremely high off its five and eight exponential moving average and just really showing and just boosting up to new all time highs and doing it at a very rapid pace. Um, with a lot of volume coming in here just of the Friday of last week, uh, gapping up again this morning uh, to hit a high at five hundred and seventy five dollars this is again pretty <laughs> this 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 was just trading around four forty five uh, literally two weeks ago and we're up one hundred twenty five dollars just from that it is somewhat concerning if you're going to be more of a value investor but this is usually what happens when there wasn't that much money and money was really sitting on the sideline potentially to hit the larger funds to put money back into uh into the equities to see this kind of play out um again with the trading with the five and eight exponential moving average we're hitting a pretty high here uh switching to the weekly side i kind of wanted that we did this on the last night's uh webinar or a webinar uh live stream showing here from the previous swing high to low in the fibonacci retracements we kind of broke through that six one six one eight percentile move which is a kind of a key figure so this four or uh, five forty three is going to be the first level of support on the way down then around basically where the 485 to 486 here, the 476 here, is going to be support to the downside due to the uh, potential, uh, again, downturn. Always want to be mindful of that. Again, then the 21 support is going to kind of come in around 435 to 425. I know these are super broad ranges, but we're looking at this on a weekly side. So this can be into uh, some kind of finessing here. This kind of comes into as well with the 21 really lining up between the 476 price target, aka around 480 as well. So around four dollars plus or minus here. If it continues, if it does try to want to pull back and earnings is not too great, this would be the first level of support. To the upside, it's kind of an unknown territory. Um, potentially, it looks like it wants to kind of break above 600. We'll see what happens. But going back to this trade here, so we look on the various trade tab, we see this uh, particular option here that was purchased a little bit right before uh, noon today. Uh, someone buying or selling actually the August 21st 675 call and then buying the 525 call uh, that is expiring just in a couple days. So this Friday. So this is a very in particular trade. It's almost like a, a, a debit spread, but what they're doing is they're buying a really deep in the money option that costs around $52 or $5,200 per contract. Instead of just paying that full, nearly a little over $5,000 a contract, they're going out all the way to August and selling some calls to collect a little bit of premium to knock down the sticker price of this. So basically knocking it down to like $35 or so $3,500. Uh, and again, looking here on the charts v of uh, Tastyworks, what you, we use for trading options here. Uh, you can kind of see here we highlighted the they bought that particular call here again expiring this Friday and then they're selling the uh, 675 again each a thousand so we're gonna update this to a thousand to there we go um, don't look at the numbers down here it's not completely justified because the overall percentage of what's going on here and somehow uh, tasty works is not able to calculate this so we can calculate this pretty easy again so about three uh, 3.4 3.5 million dollars because again it's like a, a debit uh, spread 
you're doing the 34, 35 times 1,000. Of course, that is going to equal your number of the $3.5 million trading to cost to take this. But then when we look at the Analyze tab, again, max loss is around 3.4 million, 3.5, depending on when they got in. But the potential upside, if everything works all the way out, is close to 11 million. So they're doing basically uh, a pretty strong uh, potential risk to reward, basically risking one to potentially make three to four. Uh, not saying this is going to, if all, everything lines up and they potentially can max it out, easily could double their money within uh, if the earnings goes great. But this is a pretty large bet on wagering that uh, uh, Amazon, I mean Netflix, will be performing fairly well into the earnings uh, the, this coming Tuesday. Uh, is it a risky move? For Yes. Uh, even if you just did it on a very small basis, you're still risking $3,500 to potentially make a little over, potentially, again, potentially $10,000 $10, million, $10, from that. So the risk reward is there. Um, $3,000 for one earnings play is a little bit risky for my cup of tea. Uh, normally, again, if you know and watch the channel, earnings to me is a little bit risky. So this is kind of a really large bet, even though Netflix has run up quite substantially into earnings. Um, yes, the stay-at-home stuff and a lot of everyone's watching, I don't think Tiger King's a thing anymore, but all the other various shows on there and movies that are continuously producing and original contact that they're creating is just it could be driving this up again. Really with the people, folks, and staying at home, people getting the entertainment. And we'll see what happens. Like This is going to be definitely an interesting one to check out, and we'll see on what goes forth once we uh, have earnings come out tomorrow after the close. Definitely one we're going to be looking at, and uh, hopefully that you're able to join the fantastic live stream. And one other thing, if you want to join the Discord, which you're, everyone's more than welcome, that's in the link down below. We have some fantastic stuff going on. We have the, our own boy, don't don't leave me please, making an astronomical amount of uh, trades here. Basically, in long Amazon, he's already up nearly 200% nearly with $20,000 made on some calls. Want to give him a little round of applause as well on that. Fantastic, my friend. Um, really want to see on how that plays out. Again, Amazon, Netflix, all these uh, really high flyers have been performing very well. Um, and yeah, so within the Discord, we have a lot of fun discussions about charts, looking at different things, and just kind of shared potential or trading ideas. And we also have a Patreon page if you want to be uh, get into uh, supporting the channel directly, get into uh, supporting the channel directly, and getting some uh, potential uh, charts that I kind of do on a uh, couple pieces to kind of gauge on where the market's going and things like that. Definitely check that as well. And I want to thank everyone again for joining the live streams. We have another live stream coming out tomorrow, and hopefully uh, see everyone there. Make sure you bring a snack and a refreshing beverage. All right, guys, you take it easy, and I'll catch you.